going on guys? We are here with a tutorial. It's my first tutorial that I've done and this is about how to get better, cleaner audio. We want to get that clean, crisp, bassy, well maybe not too bassy, but a little more bass in our voice. And we just want cleaner audio, right? So the first thing I've got here is I've got a clip of me with this test audio. This is test audio specifically just for this tutorial. Now you're going to want to take this and open it up in Audition. Once you get that open and you're in Audition, then the first thing I usually do is I try to add a little bit of that amplification to that. Just so that you have a little bit more, a little higher audio, a little cleaner. So you want to use the amplification effect first, just so you can get a little bit louder of that audio because I tend to record a little quieter. So you want it to be just a little bit more, a bit more punch to it, just so you can actually hear what's going on with your actual audio track. This is test audio, specifically just for this tutorial. Next thing you want to do is actually highlight a section of that clip where it's the most quietest so that you can actually use that as the sample for the rest of the track. And it'll just take out a little bit of those sounds that are inside the actual track itself, just so that you have a little bit more quietness in that actual track. And they'll take out some of that background noise that's kind of just looming around in there. This is test audio, specifically just for this tutorial. Next, I want to go down to mastering. Mastering is going to give you a little bit more of that bassy undertone to your voice, more body to your audio, just so that you have some actual sound in your voice that doesn't sound like it is just recorded out of the, out of the microphone. This is test audio, specifically just for this tutorial. Just kind of brings that level up just a little bit. Next, you wanna go down to the graphic equalizer. I just used the 10 band, and you can kind of mess around with those levels and settings just so that you kind of know what's going on. And you kind of just wanna go and look at your voice. You wanna to listen to it a little bit, obviously. You actually wanna be able to hear certain things in your voice that you wanna be able to accentuate. For when I did the mastering, it brought a little bit of that bass up, but this will also bring a little bit of those high tones up and a little bit of those mid tones, kind of just give you a well balance within your voice, just so that when you're hearing it, it doesn't sound so grovelly, especially in my voice, I find that. The graphic equalizer is not exactly going to be the same on mine as it is for yours because everybody's voice is a little bit different so you're gonna need to tweak that a little bit just to try to get it to sound the way you want it to sound this is test audio specifically just for this tutorial and then also when you're done that you want to play it back so that you actually can hear the different tones to make sure that it actually sounds right with your voice if it doesn't sound just right then go back into it tweak a little bit, make it sound the way you want it to sound. Once you're done that, you're gonna wanna go to the amplification tab and you're wanna gonna go to the hard limiter. Now what the hard limiter is, is essentially it's a compressor. It's just a single band, I guess, compressor. There's other ways to compress it, but I found this is just the quickest and easiest for me. And it's just gonna take all those levels and kinda just squish them down a little bit so that you're not peaking especially on the bottom when you see that little meter at the bottom, you wanna make sure that you're not peaking your audio there because when you do peak that audio, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get distortion and whatever coming out of your speakers and also in your headphones. And as well, your audio is just not gonna sound that great. So by getting those levels kind of perfect, that's the best way that I find for getting better, cleaner vocals. Also, when you're running your, your videos and you're putting music on that, you're gonna wanna take those audio clips and just turn it down just a pinch, just because you do have the, the vocals over top of it if you are doing that. The mixing of the two is gonna cause it to peak a bit. So by taking that down a little bit and even playing around a little bit with the voice, just to get that proper sound coming out of it, I think you'll achieve the best results. This is test audio specifically just for this tutorial. Once you're done that, you're gonna wanna go and save that clip just so that it saves all of those things. Because you are editing in Premiere, it will actually transfer all of that you've done in Audition right into Premiere. Now you can actually go back and see the clip and know that the clip actually sounds the way you want it to. 
I hope this tutorial helps you guys out with your audio, helps you get cleaner, better, crisper, bassier audio. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did like it, hit the like button, comment, please subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. I always say that. I don't know why I say that. So today, I can't say it. So follow me on this journey. Why do I always say that? Follow me on this journey. Well, I was going to record a clip, but my cat is on my lap. <laughs> oh man. Okay, there you go, go away. Woo! Now that there's hair like all over me.